Hey guys, it's Faust. There was going to be a video today, but as you can hear by my nose, I'm a little bit sick. Not too sick. I just, I need to, I need to film the video and uh, I can't cause this. Um, so I figured I'd just make a quick sort of update video on what's going on with this channel. I know I do these very, very uh, occasionally. They're usually from a webcam and so I'm keeping with that tradition. But the last time I did one, it wasn't from a webcam and it was when I was like, I'm not going to do any more, uh, well, I'm only going to do one comic video a week. Um, and if you've been watching my live streams, you know the truth behind that was, um, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know the truth behind that was, uh, for about the past year, uh, I've been struggling with depression. Um, and the other day, if you've struggled with depression in the past, um, and for me, like, my depression isn't necessarily, um, for me, it's uh, it's my brain chemical makeup. Like I, I'm always going to struggle with depression because. <sighs> one sec. One sec. Okay, I should be able to sound a bit better, at least temporary. My nose is doing the thing where one is blocked and one isn't. Now, so but at least I'll be a bit more clear. Um, but yeah. Um, my 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 it's my. My depression is more my brain's chemical makeup rather than my environment. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's just a case of that. It's it's not something that will ever go away permanently. But the other day, I just sort of had like this moment where like something clicked up here, and I I feel good again for the first time in a year. Won't linger on that for too long, but yeah, uh, just know that I'm okay. Um, and um, because of that. Um, my depression affected me so badly that I didn't even want to read comics anymore. Um, and, and like, I even lost a good friend earlier this year, but fortunately we've made up again, and um, we're talking a few multiple times a week. Uh, we're calling each other up on the phone, and uh, it, it's just good to be close with that friend again. Um, and because. Uh, it was one of, usually, like, usually I'm the type of person where I'm like, oh, I've lost a friend, whatever. Like, because I won't run after people. If someone wants me in their life, they can have me in their life. But if someone makes the decision that they don't want me in their life, I won't be in their life. I, I, I just, I treat it as very black and white like that, and it's very, um, carefree. But this time, I did care, and, uh, it got to me. Um, but fortunately, uh, we're friends again. That's fun, that's fun. So, um... But my depression bled into me not wanting to read comics. It made it kind of bled into me sort of not doing everything that I wanted to do in terms of cosplay over the summer. Um, but the other day, I just kind of like had this moment where I woke up and I was like, "Wait, what the fuck am I doing?" And like, it, I was, it was sat there. <laughs> I legitimately cried, and my brother walked in and went, "Faust, why are you crying?" And I went, "I don't know." Um, <laughs> And he walked away, um, but it's good, it's good. Um, I'm doing lots of things at the moment though, uh, so, uh, but back to the main topic of this video, um, history videos are coming back, I've literally got a history video half written, I've got the history of Superboy written, that's been written, my history of Superboy has been written since January, guys, January, um, I just haven't had it in me to film it, so I'm finally going to put that out, um, and yes, uh, everything's going to be very, very, very sexy from now on. Uh, I definitely want to talk about uh, the new Superman book, uh, the Chinese Superman, because speaking as someone who's half Chinese and half white, um, I can honestly say that there is a distinct lack of Chinese representation in Western media in general, even on YouTube. Like. There are Asian people on YouTube, I'm half of one of them, um, but like, so just look at like Summer in the City, the U UK sort of version of VidCon. 120 YouTubers were invited to Summer in the City. 120. Out of that 120 YouTubers that were invited, six were not white. One of them was Asian. And you could say, okay, well, maybe, you know, there's not in, in that many uh, black or Asian YouTubers in the UK. I'm friends with them! So that's not an excuse. There is, like, Tootsie Time. I'm not friends with Tootsie Time, but I love her content. She's, like, a beauty guru. Uh, Anne Cherie Sue. 
and fucking Chorizo. <laughs> She's in the UK. Like, and I'm friends with Anne. And, it, like, she posted a Facebook status about it. And, like, my friend Kat, she's not even a YouTuber. And she noticed the distinct lack of, like, anyone that's not anyone that's not white at somewhere in the city. And it turned out that a few of the people that weren't white actually ended up buying their own tickets to somewhere in the city or something. I was so out of the loop by that po by the point, like, that was revealed. Because I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, ah, uh, But, yeah, I'm... But that brings me back to the new Superman, because I'm really excited to have a book about uh, Asian characters. Uh, I, I kind of feel like, so far, because we're only four issues in, I do feel like maybe it should have been called New Superman and the Justice League of China. Um, if you've been reading the book, that makes more sense. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy about this book. Uh, I think it's a very important book. And uh, I am making a video on it. It's already been written. I will be filming it today. But definitely read it. Uh, it gets my full sp stamp of approval. And if you like Superboy, Connell, uh, Connor Ken, uh, more in the comics, less in the Young Justice TV show, because he really didn't act like himself in the TV show. But if you liked Connor Ken, sort of, especially in the 90s, definitely pick this up, because it's in personality, the uh, new Superman and Connor Ken are very, very similar. Uh, and uh, I'm... Usually I wouldn't approve of that, but because... Just read the book, because it makes sense in the context of this book. It's, 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 they're similar, they're not the same, and I'm enjoying that. Uh, what else am I doing? I'm figure skating, again, for the first time in years. Um, I Growing up, I did ballet and figure skating, uh, and I started that at the age of... Um, it was the year before I moved to England, so I would have been four. Um, yeah, I started uh, ballet and figure skating uh, back home, and then I moved to England, continued them here, and then I stopped... Well, no, I started ballet at four, and then I picked up figure skating when I was ten. Because um, uh, I just really... Like, I wanted to do figure skating originally, but my mum, when she was younger, she was involved in a bad skating accident. It was like... How do I put this? Uh, so, so she was ice skating with a few friends. She was taking a class. Uh, just it was like the basics of ice skating, just to like learn how to stand on the ice and go. Um, and some speed skaters were let in, and they were skating on the same rink for some reason, and no one questioned it. Um, long story short, there was a crash. Someone ended up dying. The whole rink ended up being shut down permanently. Um, and because of that, my mum wouldn't let me learn how to figure skate when I was very young, even though I wanted to, um, because there was the risk of, uh, there being a bad accident like that, I suppose. Like, that made sense in her mind. And to be fair, it's fair worry, because mothers are going to worry. Um, but now, uh, now I'm doing it again. I, I'm paying for it out of my own pocket. I'm shit in comparison to how I used to be, like, well and truly shit. So I'm, um, you know, I was trying to bulk in muscle. I was trying to gain 40 kilograms of muscle mass. Um, but I spoke to my old, uh, skating coach. And she basically said that that would be, like, because even I was still intending on doing it, even with figure skating. Uh, even though, like, that's not an ideal skater's body. And she said that would basically be physically impossible for me. Um, because of me doing ballet, um, growing up, um, my muscles aren't, they would, so when you do ballet, gymnastics, figure skating, anything that involves a high amount of flexibility, your muscles develop in a type of way that, um, I think it's called long strand fibers, um, they basically promote flexibility, but they won't be big in size, they'll basically be permanently lean muscle. Um, and, you know, some people will see that as good, uh, because lean muscle is sort of like an ideal physique to have. Um, I, ha I have, like, mixed opinions on it, because I do definitely feel like, I don't know, I, 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 I had an idea for a cosplay I wanted to do, um, but I, I guess I could still do it with lean muscle, because characters are drawn in different ways all of time in comics, and, um, and new Superman has lean muscles, so I could cosplay the Ch Superman of China. Um, 
my phone agrees. Um, but for now, I am going to go. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I'm definitely going to be doing history videos again soon. Uh, the first one will be out on Friday. I definitely want to just start, just start doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday comic videos again. And if there's other stuff in the week, that's a bonus. Definitely check out my Batman Telltale series. I know the audio is a bit finicky at the moment, and as some of you are requesting I put on subtitles, that's going to start as of episode two, um, just because it's a side series, guys. I don't want to take it all down and refilm episode one just with subtitles on, because it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. If you want to know what they're saying, just watch the game. <laughs> or play the game. Uh, you're there for my commentary. Uh, but no, I can definitely understand your perspective as well. Like, you want to know what I'm responding to. Um, so to that end, on episode two, I'm definitely going to have on subtitles. I just, if I had thought about it, I probably would have put them on. I just, it was such a last minute whim decision. I bought the game on Steam and it wouldn't work on my computer. So then I was like, okay, we found it on Steam, waited a few hours. Then I bought it on PlayStation Network and it was a whole thing. Um, it, it was such a whim decision uh, to do. But those of you that have been watching, I've been enjoying it. Um, but yeah, um, I guess for now, let me know in the comments down below what history videos, what origins, what stuff like that you want to see. Naturally, I'm still sticking to my whole, I am not doing A-list characters or team history videos. Like, so you won't see, like, the history of Storm. You might see the origin of Storm, because I don't mind doing origins for A-list characters, but you won't see histories. Histories take so long to make, guys. We have no idea. Um, like my history for Pixie, uh, history of Pixie, for example, took me four months. Four months. Um, cause, uh, cause I'm like an actual editor, like professional ho. Um, I, I literally, uh, before I film the video, I go through comic panels, um, and like actually storyboard what I want to appear and where and when, uh, rather than just making it up as I go along. Uh, and it adds time onto the process, but at the same time, I think, I don't know, my history videos aren't exactly like fast food um, comic book videos. Uh, I feel like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with doing like fast food comic videos, like as I call them, fast food comic videos, uh, like uh, Benny uh, and Rob do. They, they, they're quick to consume and they're enjoyable, they're, and they're so good. They're so good for um, at what they do. But for me, I'm not interested in making that type of content on a personal level and again there's I really don't don't want to stress I, I like I really want to stress there's nothing wrong with that type of content what they do is brilliant people love it and um you know it's entertaining for people to watch personally for me I'm not interested in like fast content like that I I, I like something that's a bit uh, more in depth uh, that's why some of my my favorite history videos I've ever done is the history of death because um, it went so in depth uh, with the symbols in it, uh, in the in in everything. Uh, that's something I definitely want to do in my. Um, I'm gonna cover the first few issues of New Superman, and I want to go into how uh, Asian men in Western media, in particular, uh, aren't really allowed to come across as masculine. Um, for example, like, and this applies to all Western media, like all like like ranging from TV shows to porn, like. Like in the gay porn industry, for years and years and years, if two Asian men were having sex, it was referred to as lesbian porn. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely want to like get into that. Start doing some stuff that's a bit more in depth. Um, also, corporations are evil. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.